weather keeps on. So the weather was really beautiful yesterday and then today it is kind of grey and it started raining earlier but then suddenly it's become a little sunny. It's very strange weather. It's an odd spring this year so far. So today because it feels like more of an indoor day I was going to go do some more foraging today. I was going to go and look for some yarrow and some nettles but I've decided I can't be bothered. I'm going to leave that for a maybe the next couple of days when the weather gets a little bit brighter. But I'm gonna spend the day baking, I think. I made a lemon, rose and pistachio cake last night as an experiment and it actually turned out really well. I can't tell you how much surprise always happens when I make something and it turns out really good. So I decided that I would like to get better at baking. But today we're gonna to be making some cinnamon rolls because I love them. Although I've only ever had them in the US. I even though I think they're actually originated in Sweden as part of like fika. Interesting. So I'm gonna try that. I'm also gonna make some things with the wild garlic that I foraged yesterday. So I'm gonna make some vegan cheese and wild garlic scones today. That's an experiment. I've never made scones before, so we'll see how those go. And we're also gonna be making a wild garlic and green olive tapenade. What else are we making? We're gonna be making a spring vegetable and again, probably some wild garlic risotto, which is gonna be. And I've got some peas as well in their shells and I love shelling them. I know lots of people find that really boring, but I just, I love it. So I'm gonna make making that as well. And then we'll try those kind of wild garlic capers that I tried making yesterday with the buds. It's really important if you do forage, the buds are actually the fertile part, I think is what you say, and it helps it to reproduce. So you don't wanna take more than one per plant. And I was really careful, I only just took a handful because I'm quite new to foraging and I, the last thing I'd want is to create any ecological problems <laughs> or, yeah. But I was really surprised that I came across such a huge patch yesterday, really right by my house. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, we're gonna get started with the cinnamon buns because I think those are gonna take the longest because you've gotta let them proof twice, so. Yeah, all the recipes that I'm using will be in the description below. To be honest, because I'm experimenting, most of these recipes aren't mine, so I'm gonna put those in the links below. A couple of them are the Minimalist Baker because they're just great and I like how simple their recipes are. So we're gonna get going. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with a Minimalist Baker recipe and it called for almond milk. I don't really use almond milk that much because, well, Almonds are controversial. So for today, I decided to make some homemade almond milk just for this recipe and it's so easy. I literally just blended up about one cup of almonds to three cups of water. And then unfortunately I couldn't find my strainer bag. So I just used this sieve, which was okay because I used the almond pulp later to make pancakes. Now, I also added a pinch of salt just to give it a little bit more of a sh stable shelf life. But again, it doesn't really matter because I was using pretty much all of it straight away to make these cinnamon buns. 
what you pretty much do well i always forget with baking how you the first process is always melting vegan butter or whatever into milk and then adding the yeast because i'm still on that dry active yeast journey i think i would love to start making sourdough and i've been watching honestly hundreds of videos on how to make sourdough and get a starter started but today i just wanted to practice my baking skills because it's just quite fun. Here you can see I'm waiting for that yeast. It always takes so long and I always get very impatient, but the wait is always worth it. It looks kind of weird here, but you know, I follow the steps all the time. I thought this was gonna be more difficult, but the Minimalist Baker, that's why I love their recipes because they are quite simple and straightforward and yeah, honestly, I really enjoyed it. It was nice to have something to focus on today and to try out a new skill. It's always, I don't know, I just, I'm really, can't quite believe how much I'm getting into cooking recently. It's just one of those things. I used to hate cooking. It's so ironic. I obviously didn't put enough flour in the mixture. That's why I've got a lot of flour here, but it turned out pretty well. I'm trying to get used to wet dough as well um, because when you make sourdough obviously it's going to be a much more wetter dough than you were used to but yeah I left that to rise for about an hour I think before before getting back to it now this was the tricky part for me I um, tried my best to roll it into a rectangle but it's really hard to do. And also I didn't want to squish the dough too much because I wanted, you know, to protect the air that was inside it. Although probably I didn't, let's be honest. But uh, yeah, I did the best I could. And then I'm just putting some vegan butter on the inside with some sugar and then obviously lastly, some cinnamon. This rolling process, not the best, but it worked, so I'm not gonna lie. Although my dad was standing here giving me advice saying, are you sure it should look like that? <laughs> but he doesn't know, he's not the greatest chef either, so it was nice to have someone to uh, shoot this shit with. As you can see, I put it in a uh, container that was a bit too big, and then I had to adjust that and put it in another one, and I had to squish them right in. But it still worked, it was absolutely fine. Also, I didn't really care if it didn't because it doesn't. Really, to me, it doesn't really matter what it looks like, especially when you're first trying out something. It just matters what it tastes like. So once those cinnamon buns were ready, it took about half an hour in my oven. I'm now making a topping, the icing topping, and I just use more of my almond milk with some icing sugar, and that's that's pretty much it. That's all the recipe called for. The cool thing is, before you bake them, you can actually freeze them. Apparently, um, not at this stage. Obviously, at this stage, it's You've got to serve them straight away so they're still warm and a bit doughy and just absolutely delicious. The next thing I want to talk about is I made a wild garlic and caper tapenade. If you don't know what a tapenade is, it's kind of basically an olive smush. <laughs> but because I went foraging and found loads of really amazing wild garlic, I really wanted to try it out. So I just put some parsley, some capers and some wild garlic in here. You want to definitely use the stems. The stems have so much flavor as well. And then I put my green olives in and some lemon. I think I ended up putting a whole lemon's worth of juice in this. Some salt, because I love salt in this kind of thing, and some pepper as well. And that's pretty much it. Oh no, I put some olive oil in, but I don't think I, I forgot to record that for some reason. And then once it was ready, I just put it in two jars to keep. Now this for me is delicious, so it doesn't last long, but I reckon probably no more than maybe five or six days. And I personally just love to have it on some sourdough toast. Obviously not made by myself because my sourdough is absolutely appalling. At first I thought this was a bit too salty, but no, it was divine. I really, really, really liked it. And the last thing I'm making is that risotto. 
Now this is again another minimalist baker recipe but I did kind of change it slightly. She likes to use just shiitake mushrooms but I wanted to use a kind of woodland mix. Just I love oyster mushrooms and they're just delicious. I also didn't have any asparagus and I couldn't find any at the shop either so I just added spring greens instead. I also realised that I didn't film the peas, which I was supposed to. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I really love shelling peas, it's just a really meditative thing. I just watch kind of like Instagram, not Instagram, I watch YouTube videos whilst doing it. But um, once I've cooked the mushrooms and the spring greens, I just put them to the side and then I added in the garlic and the, and the rice. What I really liked about this recipe is the liquid is a miso broth, so it gave it a really deep and delicious flavour. I also added in the white wine that she suggested, probably a little bit less I think, but the miso paste was just, it was just unbelievable. I've never tried it, I've only ever tried it with vegetable broth I think before, but it was absolutely divine. I'm just adding in the wild garlic. I think I added in the peas at this point as well, but I completely forgot to add it in. Oh no, not yet. <laughs> yeah, so I added in the peas to let them cook because they were raw. I prefer fresh peas, they just taste so much better. And instead of vegan parmesan, I just put in some nutritional yeast. And then I served it. It was honestly delicious and I'm 100% gonna make this again. I am very tired now after all of that cooking, but it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna do some reading now on the Planet on Fire, Manifesto for the Age of Environmental Breakdown. And then I've got some more work to do before the end of the day. So hopefully tomorrow morning we'll go for a walk on the South Downs and I'll take you with me because I wanna show you some more of the countryside around near where I'm currently living, because it's beautiful. So, so I'll catch up with you then. So out of the blue, Shelby called me last night and we ended up speaking for like three hours. So I went to bed at 1 a.m., which is late for me. So I didn't get up early and go for a walk on the downs this morning, unfortunately. So you'll have to wait for the next video for that. But I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. And if there are any videos that you particularly want to see, then let me know in the comments below and I will make them for you. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you on Sunday. Bye.